check with you know these individuals um, to see if they would be willing to serve, and then at your next board meeting, whatever that make that official Tuesday. To, yeah, maybe Tuesday. So just do the groundwork, you know, between now and next Tuesday, and officially appoint them. And at the same time, we will um, try to work with the county to come back and provide training to these four new people who, you know, pulling them into a judge's role, as well as if anyone has been moved around and they're still willing to serve, I think we may want to pull them back in as well and give them some guidance and make sure that they take some um, proper measures to go out and look at their polling site and know what to expect. I just want to make sure they know where to go and you know what uh, resources they're dealing with or any challenges they may be dealing with so that we're not caught by surprise on election day. Yeah, that would be, might say they don't want to serve if they can't serve where they are. I don't know that that would happen. I don't see why it would, but. So today, I, I, I know I, I know that we should have had a and like you were saying, a government person in White's Creek, you know, I say that's too far. Mm -hmm. No, some people don't want to travel that far. Yeah, but that's then that was kind of my point that I noticed we've got people from my favorite precinct, Bethel, all over the county. You know, Lake Creek, all over the place, White's Creek, all over the place. So I, I just, you know, I, I realize that some people get a, a place and they like it there and they want to work there, they don't want to work anywhere else, but. But you know that we can't say, well, okay, we're gonna break law because you don't want to go there. That's just not gonna happen. So Abbott's, Carver's Creek, Central, Central White. and White's, White's Creek. Creek. Those are the four that we still have a challenge with. So we do we need help too? We're gonna leave Audrey there. Okay. So you yeah. Just get checked. And Patricia Gaines, we gonna put her in Jessica Taylor's place. So that should take care of that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we need to appoint the ones that we feel are where they're supposed where we'd like them to be now. Mm. Okay, so do we need to do that? Because what if we appoint them and then they tell her that they don't want to work? So yeah. you want to wait until, until they well, say, that mean, unfortunately that happens. Yeah, that's what that happens. So then you want to let's table this until next week or tentatively what I mean, what do we need to do? I think you may want to go ahead and get it clarified and resolved and just go ahead and uh, appoint them. You're still going to have to follow up with them and let them know, if the ones that have moved, you know, what has transpired. If they are willing to serve, you're fine. We'll make sure, again, they come back um, and um, get additional training. For the ones that decide that maybe it's too far, I don't like that precinct, I don't want to do that then at least you have the opportunity, then you know, I mean, she will know, and she can communicate, you know, with you guys individually, that that is an issue. So you'll know how many additional ones that you may need to appoint um, or have emergency judges appointed, you know, for the meeting next week. So a motion to approve the recommendations we have made? Yeah, and I wonder if you want to maybe take a, a like a, quick five to minute recess, maybe type up that list and make sure um, you know what you're approving, share it with everyone so that there's no yeah, I'm I'm stretch. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I would be confused. Maybe you guys got yeah, it. I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm still asking. Still confused. Okay. I'm still <laughs> and we have, a, we have a question from Mr. Wooten. I was going to say, you said earlier, um, Patsy, you said that you weren't sure about stuff being appointed legally and the minutes weren't there. If you would point out, if you go ahead and set these 13, your minutes should reflect that these have been done. And so if somebody has to get replaced, then you're going to have a record of, yeah, we replaced John Doe, Sally Jones, because whatever. Mm -hmm. But you would have that paper trail, for lack of a better word, in place starting with you guys now. I'm a big fan of paper trails. So that's what I'm saying. If you if there's nothing to prove that that is the actual appointed list, you don't have anything. So I think now you make it official okay. in the absence so, so. of having something. You know. You know when they got appointed next time. Right. Okay. okay so we're we going to publish it and blame us. And I think that was the recommendation. Mm -hmm. Not yeah, it was. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the loose list is the most uh, <laughs> legible. <laughs> legible. <laughs> legible. <laughs> Yours. Uh, yeah, you can read your own mind. You have a, so you want to read it back to us? If you say you this, do you, you have this say? Then you should just be able yeah. to make a little Just fill in and make those changes. I recommend you would read somebody read it so you all hear it and check your own list. Mm -hmm. You'll know. Okay, I can read them. Okay. Um, Abbott, we have Shakita and Michael. Mm -hmm. Becca, Melissa, Lisa, and Jessica. Mm -hmm. Labor one, Tim, and Margaret. Labor two, Michelle, Helen, and Lottie. Brown Marsh, Mitchell, Linda, and Linda. Harvest Creek, Marcelo, Central Marcelo. Holly, Ellen, Lily, and Christy. Mm -hmm. Cypress Creek, Colleen, Levy, and at Pam. Mm -hmm. E-Town 1, Jill, Barbara, and Mildred. E Town 2, Audrey, Patricia, and my agent. Precious Street, Lynn, Kathy, and Elaine. Did you call that again? I didn't miss that. Which one? The last one that you said. Precious Street, Precious Street, Lynn, Kathy, and Elaine. Okay. Hollow, Helen, Mary, and McLean. Um, my eyes watering up. Lake Creek, Winifred, Claire, and Lincoln, Turnbull, Cynthia, Phil, and John, White Oak, What's Juanita, Creek? Tracy, and Laura. Mm -hmm. And Watts Creek, it's, it's just that we need a uh, Republican we need a Republican man. And, and t call out again what you said about um, Michelle. 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 Michel
all of that. But I mean, that's what you're working with right now. So I would. Yeah, we're only going to have we're only going to have judge and chief judges at our precincts this time. We're not going to have an assistant. Yeah, I know, for, but for your emergency, just oh, yeah, so yeah, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. you, can, you should work from that. Place. That's mm -hmm. nice. And yes. you're right, I hadn't considered that, but mm -hmm. these 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 places where we've got all Democrats, we could find an unaffiliated to go there. That would be fine, just so they're not all a member of the same party. And you know, when we have more time in August, which is the reason it's in August, we can try to do a better job of getting a better balance and, and getting residents. That would be my goal, to have residents of the precincts as, as poll workers. And that would give us time to also eliminate the ones that may not want to and that kind of thing. Well, well hopefully the parties will vet that. You know, when they submit their list, they will have already contacted them and vetted them because the only requirements are that you be a resident of the precinct, you can read and write, you be a registered voter because the training is going to be provided. So, and that's why they do it in odd years, I'm sure, because there's no good races. But. We would recommend that you also reiterate some other practical things as well. Like, we want to get you guys moving into um, e poll books because that would help. So. I know it's difficult. We know how difficult it is to find people available, but you know, just having computer skill sets and just people who are attention to detail and who are adaptable right. as we have changing laws in North Carolina. But I've had two people contact me and say they would be interested in working at polls. You know, they would like to become poll workers. And one of them recently moved here and she was a chief judge at a precinct in Wake County for 20 years. So, you know, she did. She's big time. She lives in Cypress Creek. She lives in Cypress Creek. She's a Democrat. Excuse me? I know. We're going to get to that. Conversation is true. So, is it 12? So, are we ready to do that? Take action on the 12th? We have to get this. We have gone through the list, and everybody, we've got names where we need them with the exception of five precincts. So we are ready now to take action on the 12 precincts that we feel are staff. staff. Well, I hate to do this, but can I, I need to go back through because to make sure it's just five, I just need to, from my Five staff. that we need that still yeah, need Yeah, those that need, still need work. Abbott's, Blender One, Carver Street Central, and um, White Street. Abbott's, Blender One, Carver Street mm -hmm. Central mm -hmm. and White Street. White, White Street. Street. Oh. Now we just put we we got to try Kimberly White and Flavor One. Mm -hmm. Oh, we are. That's what okay. I understood. Mm -hmm. okay. She's a resident and she's unaffiliated, so that would be a good. Yeah, just, but there's Boy. several on there you could contact, you know, and see if they'd be willing to, to go there because we have to have another resident of Lake Boy One since Tim Page is locked. Okay. So, so that, that, that would add us back to four. No, if that, that, works is if that works out. Are we going to check that as a done? Mm -hmm. Labor one. So it's Abbott's, Harvest Creek, Central, and White Creek. White, White Creek. Creek. Okay. Where they need Republicans because they're all different. Four. So it's four. Now. Okay, let's get the on that, please. Can I get a motion to appoint the said changes and Revisit it if, if I'm in order by saying this, someone declines a position. So, in that my motion, should I list the precincts that we are? I would list. I them. Would, yes. All right. So I'm gonna make I make a motion that we approve the reassignments to Bethel, Blaybor One, Blaybor Two, Brown Marsh, Collie. Cypress Creek, Elizabethtown 1, Elizabethtown 2, French's Creek, Hollow, Lake Creek, Turnbull, and White Oak, and accept those appointments. I second the motion. It's been moved and properly second that we um, appoint <coughs> to the said 14 precincts. 13. 13, I'm sorry. 13 precincts. Are we ready for question? Okay. All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Uh -huh. Opposed the same sign. Hearing none. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
hearing none. These precincts have been duly Is that it? I'm going to be a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I we said, have, we, we got um, to do. <laughs> but we've got to decide what we're going to do with these other, with these, with these four, but I, I yeah, she's going to contact me. She's going to contact me. Mm -hmm. okay. It's something that's just going to be enough. And there's a motion on the floor. Oh, well, four is adjourned. <laughs> the uh, 14th of May, I am supposed to have eye surgery. And mm -hmm. that's election day. It is. Do I have to be here? That's the count. It's very important that uh -huh. we have that's the day we need all yeah the republican representation needs to be here on on election day because that's when you're going to be counting your by mail absentee ballots and your one stop absentee ballots so we need, like last week we discussed that you need to have the approval right um, when you went through the approval process there should be bipartisan representation that you can use someone from the, um, the party, but this is the this is, this is the count. So it's you know, the absentee count, and certainly you know, at Canvas as well. You have to be here, but I would strongly recommend that you can to be here in election day. Maybe. Unless we're going to have another Republican member by that time, which I think the chance is it's a state board meeting between. Them. I believe they're meeting on Monday. I don't know if that's on the agenda. I don't know if one has been official okay. uh, or been recommended. I don't know. One other thing. I have been asked several times, and I do not know, okay? They said that the board chair and the director of elections are cousins. Is that a conflict? Uh, of this board? Of this board, yeah. Are you cousins? By in name only, not by blood. Not by blood. By marriage or something? By marriage. So a, a cousin is typically not a near relative, relative, but I mean, if that's something, let me check with your county attorney. I can certainly check with our legal team, but I don't see anything to that. It's not a. Because I have. I've cousin. been asked 25 times since I took this job. Oops. Okay. And I don't know. A cousin in, so the, a near relative on in various fronts, like for absentee and poll workers, um, are set out in the statute. Cousins are not determined to be near relatives. Okay. It's like the first cousin. No. <laughs> it's a distant cousin by marriage. It's distant cousin by marriage. And, okay. and the biggest deal is we just have the same last main name. That's all. I want you to feel comfortable. I just want to clarify that. myself okay. so I can answer. Well, you can answer them and <laughs> I think you guys have adjourned, so let's um, I, it, let's probably um, we haven't done it officially. Yeah, but I'm no, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, I, would, what? I I know you did, and I, I apologize for that. Okay. Excuse me, Patsy. <laughs> Has it been second? <laughs> I did. I did. I did. Okay. Is it moving properly second that we adjourn this meeting until our next meeting on next Tuesday at 5 p.m.? Question? All in favor, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Opposed to same sign. Meeting adjourned. Today? Tuesday the second. Speak to our Republican counterpart. Give him the talk. Give him the, Give him the talk that we got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. you have to come to the Please. principal's office. Yes. How many of you are principals? Just ever. Just uh oh, just ever. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're in the county, yes. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, 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 u
Oh, so, right, right. Yeah, so posting and reacting. Yeah. And then my phone just felt like blowing up. Right. So I don't know mm -hmm. okay. what's happening. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.